What is going on everybody? It is Girl in Pigtails. I am a Star Citizen streamer on Twitch and I am going to show you how to have fun in the free fly event in Star Citizen. <laughs> Let's go. So the very first thing is you're going to want to go to the RSI website and there's these little event tabs here. So you're going to want to click on the one that says February free fly. Click view more. Hopefully your internet is working and the page loads quickly. So the free fly event goes from February 15th to the 25th. And for those of you who don't know, Star Citizen is a PC game. It's a space MMO that's still in alpha development, unfortunately. So Star Citizen will have these events every now and then where you as a new player can come into the verse and see what it's all about. It is the game to end all game, guys. It's going to be epic. Now, once you get in to the game, I'm going to show you how to create the account. You will have access to six different ships that kind of give you a taste of what Star Citizen is going to be all about. There's many different playing styles and fighting styles, and each one of these will kind of give you a little bit of insight on that. So there are two starter packs that you can get. It's the Mustang Alpha and the Aurora. You will also have access to a single seat fighter, which is the arrow. Get your mining on with the Misk Prospector. Or if you feel like space trucking it, you can get into the Freelancer. There is also Finally, a ground vehicle, you can hop into the Dragonfly. So if you're completely brand, brand, brand new and have never seen Star Citizen before, I highly recommend going to the Welcome Hub, which there is a lovely little link in there. And this is kind of going to give you tutorials on how to play Star Citizen. Because the game is still in alpha development, when you wake up in the verse, there is no tutorial on like what to do. Like you have no idea. So read a couple of these, watch the videos, kind of get your bearings on how to move your character, what to do, so on and so forth. If you decide that you like Star Citizen and want to continue playing after the free flight is over, there are some discounted starter packs. So basically a starter pack, what it is, is a ship because obviously you're in space, you need a ship. You will get a ship and a game package, which allows you to get into the verse. Now they are on a little bit of a discount. I mean, $5 off if is $5 off. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty good nowadays. Now there are quite a few players who like to collect ships, me included, but you don't have to get a starter pack every single time you want to get a ship. Once you get a starter pack, you're done. Like you are in the first and then you can get ships if you want to uh separately all right so scrolling down you will see the free fly code get to the verse hold that thought we will need that in a second first and foremost we need to sign in or enlist let's do it so for most of you new players, you are going to want to enlist, which basically just means you need to create an account. So you're going to go through all this, create your name. You have to give your email password, make sure you're old enough. You cannot be one year old and play this game. 
more importantly there is a referral code here you can use i have my referral code in the description below check it out it will once you click that link it'll bring you to this page and the referral code will already be preloaded in there what that does is it gives you 5000 abc which is the in-game currency and hey a little bit of money is better than no money because i don't know space trucks need gas right so at least you'll have a little something something once you have enlisted and created an account you might have to go back to the website and sign in again it's pretty easy nazi step one boom done step two you need to enter the code so go up here click on the code it'll automatically get copied to your um copy to your clipboard then paste it in there apply code finally step three you're going to want to download the game log in launch and i will see you guys in menu and i will show you how to get your ship all right see you in a second all right welcome back everyone once you have launched the game you will be in the main menu and what we're gonna do is go into the persistent universe and that is where you're gonna have the ability to pull out those ships that we talked about earlier and hop in the verse and play around it'll be exciting now star marine and arena commander are different modes i'm not going to talk about this in the video but i highly suggest you go ahead and hop in there see what it's all about and play when you first get onto the persistent universe page you will probably have to create a character right um which should automatically be loaded there if not you can go to the character customization and really get the perfect character i'm just gonna go ahead and apply and accept a preloaded character already so what you want to do is select the stanton system it is the only system available right now, but other systems are in the works. So just got to be patient. Again, this game is alpha. When you select a location as a new player, you will have three different options. These three main towns that you can load into. Once you choose one of these towns, you will not be able to choose these again. You will already, that'll be your spawn point until you um go to a different place and basically you're in the verse you will have a spawn location depending on where you are last but you will not have these options again to select from now i highly suggest as a new player going to new babbage it is one of the newest towns available in the verse it is such a beautiful area there's many many different shops you can buy items from ship components clothing food all that jazz it is also one of the only starting towns where you can pull out a ground vehicle so i will show you that once we hop into the verse now it's not the only location where you can pull out a ground vehicle there are other places throughout the verse where you can pull out ground vehicles it's just the only starting location where you can pull out a ground vehicle so we will hop in to New Babbage and I will meet you guys in the hub. Is it location? This will probably take a second, especially if you are new. It's a very large game. So I will see you in the hub. Alrighty, guys. Once you are loaded into the game, you are going to be lying down in bed in your hub or hotel room what you want to do is press y to get up new babbage is a very posh city very nice very nice get all this 
to interact with the door to make it open, you're going to want to press F and then mouse click to open. You will get loaded into different hubs whenever you log in. So you just kind of have to look around. So that's a dead end. And oh, look, elevator is right here. Elevator is always going to be in the center when you wake up. Again, press F and mouse click to interact with the elevator. And we are going to the lobby. There is a ton of detail in this game, guys. I highly suggest just taking a time to walk around, see all the detail. It is a beautiful game. Once you come out of the elevator, there is really only one way to go. So um, again, check out all the details, but we are gonna go head to the spaceport in order to pull out our ship. Excuse you, my goodness, that guy was so in my way. So once you come down the stairs, there are two different trams. One is going to take you to the spaceport. The other is going to take you to the commons and that's where all the shops are. So we are gonna go to the spaceport. Oh, I think I made the train. Awesome. I was lucky. Sometimes you have to wait for the tram, but once you hop in, it is a little bit of a long train ride. So by the magic of video editing, we are going to fast forward and I will see you at the spaceport. Alrighty guys, we've made it, get off the tram, and the there is really the only one moment. way to go. That way is a dead end. This way you'll see is exit. So let's go that way. Now if you were to just go straight through, you would hit another tram. So what you want to do is go to the left. This is where the elevators are, and that's where we need to go to pull out our ship. We are going to go to the end of this terminal. There we go. Terminal. Let's do it. Elevator citizen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on through. Again, just take a look around. You will not get on the same elevator twice. There's only one way to go. Now in every city, you will have customs to go through. So this is what this is and it will eventually scan you and make sure you don't have any weapons or bad things. There are some terminals over here. If you were to have fines, you could pay your fines over here. But just continue to follow the path up the stairs to a beautiful view of Microtech. Look at that, guys. That is gorgeous. You can see the city down there. You can't go in any of those buildings, but you can definitely fly around them. All right. So let's go up the stairs to the main floor. So over to your right is where the hangars are. And there are the ship terminals you will pull your ship from. Over to the left, there is ship rentals. So once you get some game, in-game money, you can rent ships actually. So that is over here at Regal Luxury Rentals. 
and you would use these terminals to rent other ships. Now, if you go up the stairs, there is eventually the, there will be commercial flights that you can take. So if you went straight out that way, that is where those will be located. However, to your left is the surface entrance, and this is where you're going to pull out your ground vehicle. Let's turn around. And I will show you how to pull out one of your ships. So you can go to any of these terminals. Again, use your F and mouse click to use. All these ships are available to you. It might take a second to load. Just let it do its thing. All right, and you can pick whichever one you want. So you'll hit retrieve. And this is going to tell you like what hangar or pad to go to. All right, we're gonna go to hangar four guys. Back away from the tournament. You can use any elevator. We'll just go this way. Use elevator. Now, if you forget what hangar you were supposed to go to, you can see right here what hangar. So we have the um, anvil arrow, hangar number four, and it gives you the distance of how far away you are. So let's go to hangar four. Oh, that was quick. And as you can see, the hangar is closed, so we're going to need to open that. I will link some tutorials on how to fly your ship in the description below. But basically, once you get in your ship and turn it on, you are going to want to press F11 to bring up your Moby Glass. Click on comlink, go to friends, because apparently all the garages are known as your friends. <laughs> You'll see NB International or er, Intergalactic Spaceport. That is your bestie. Click on this little highlighted arrow to call them. It'll say that you're healing them. And it will open the door. Alrighty guys, we are now at Lorville. If you were to choose Lorville as your spawn location, we are in the hab as per norm. Press Y again to get out of bed. And you can tell there is a huge difference between Lorville and Microtech. <laughs> I mean, huge. Like, look how industrial and dirty this thing is. Not, not posh, not posh. All right, same thing, come out of your hab. Now in Lorville, um, let's see, there is a very big window. That's probably a good place to start. If you see the big window, go to the opposite end of the room. <laughs> now it looks like we are on the first floor, but you can be on the second. We need the elevator though, that's on the second floor. So come up the stairs. It doesn't really matter which way you go. The exit is right here. Call the elevator. Now Lorville only has a place to spawn ships. So I'm gonna show you how to get there. So we're going to hit ground floor. The Lorville so industrial, it doesn't even have a lobby, guys. It has a ground floor. Walk out of the elevator again. There should only be really one way to go. 
If you have fines, there's the terminal again. But come out here. Come down. You can kind of look around. It's nighttime, which is very pretty. And you want to go to the left, follow these stairs. That's a dead end. Keep following the left. Go up. Come down. And you'll kind of see this like yellow brick road path. Um, read signs, guys. This will show you which way to go. Follow the path. All right, so there are two different trams. We want to go to the spaceport line, which is blue left. Follow the yellow brick road. Come down, try not to bump into people. Now there is only one way to go. Oh my God, look at that. We made the tram. Holy shiitake mushrooms. All right. I will go ahead and fast forward this again with the power of video editing. All right, guys, we have made it. Look at all this garbage. My goodness. The windows are all dirty. Ugh. All right, you come out of the tram, you'll immediately see exit to the right. Again, you can't really go the other way. So let's go towards the exit. Just continue to follow the path. And when you come out, there is going to be a different tram called Central Business District, but we do not want to go there. We want to go to the customs area. So let's go this way. There are the terminals where you can pay your fines. This customs area apparently is highly watched by a uh, Police, in game police. All right, continue this way. More terminals to pay for your fines. <laughs> you want to go up the stairs. All right, so to your left, there is an observation deck, and you can actually see players coming in and landing. Pretty cool. It is dark right now, so I don't think there's anything we can see right now, but it's pretty cool. And here is the ship retrieval consoles, the terminals. There is an M50, which is gorgeous. Down here is New Deal. That is where you can purchase in-game ship. Not rent, but purchase. So that's pretty cool. And if you come down here, once you go to your terminal, retrieve the ship, it'll tell you what pad or hangar to go to. This is the way to the hangar elevators. And there's two different sets of elevators so you can either go to either one that one or that one also if you want to rent a shipping game this is where you will have vantage rentals click the terminal and you can rent ships all right guys so this is loreville i will see you in just a sec we're gonna go show you area 18 Let's go ahead and press Y to get up. So not as dirty as Lorville, but not as posh as Microtech. 
I feel like this city has kind of like a Tokyo vibe to it. You'll see, you'll see. All right. Um, there is only one way to go. Gotta find the elevator. So here is a little taste of area 18. Look at all these gorgeous buildings. Go to the elevator. Now, area 18 is probably the most laggy of the cities, the three cities. So a lot of experienced Star Citizen players will avoid area 18 at all costs. So just keep that in mind. Again, only really one way to go. Follow the stairs. Once you come down, you will see there is much to check out. Back there is Kasabas. That's kind of a clothing store. Over here is Chippy Blast. That's where you get all your ammo needs. Check that out at your own time. We are going to the spaceport. So you want to go to your right where it says the plaza, Art Court Plaza. Once you come out, one of the main distinctive mar um, landmarks would be this big ball. Because it's easy to get lost, believe me. I have. When you look to your right, you might think you have to go down this way to go to the spaceport. Don't do it. Don't do it. Where it is, is actually way back here. See where it says City Light? Transit? That's where you want to go. So, go underneath the Fizzy Pop. Underneath the Fizzy Pop sign. City Flight Transit. Now, when you get to the stairs, you will see there is a convention center. They will have in-game conventions every so often throughout the year, and this will be open to that. It's closed because there are no conventions. What we want to go to is Area 18 Spaceport. So come down the stairs, head this way. There is only one tram, so you don't have to worry. Oh my goodness, look, we are on the ball. Look at that. Every single time we've caught the train. Very good. That doesn't usually happen. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Let us on. I highly recommend looking out the window. It is a gorgeous train ride. And I'll see you when we get there. Alrighty, we made it guys. We're just waiting for the door to open. There we go. And we are here. There's only one way to go. Go up the stairs. <laughs> we are going to the Riker Memorial Spaceport. This way. Did you see that sign? It's right there. Go this way. When duty calls, will you answer? I think we have. Again, if you need to pay your fines, there you go right there. We want to go through customs. That's kind of a standard here.
All right. Follow the path. And when you come out, you will see immediately the terminals where you can retrieve your ships. So if you look to the left, this is where you can rent other ships. If you look to the right, there is a little lounge area. Nothing really works in that area though, like the coffee maker or anything. But it's still pretty cool to go see, check out. So if you retrieve your ship, it'll tell you what hangar to go to. You want to go around that big pillar. It'll say hangar elevators this way. It's like a, it's like a big city. You just follow the signs. So if you were to go all the way back, you'll see again, commercial flights, which are not in use at the moment. To your left, there is kind of a loungy area observation deck. And to the right are the hangars. There are two hangar areas. Use the elevators there and go get your ship. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching. I hope this helped you guys. I will see you next time. Be sure to check us out on Twitch at Twitch tv or slash karma tales underscore gip those sevens have a good night guys